Hello everyone. Um, I'm Cache. I'm an intern here at the History Center and today we're in the collection storage room and I've been working on processing the Herald Times um, newspaper photo collection and so I thought I would share with you a couple of photos that I found interesting and intriguing I guess. Um, so I guess we'll start with the first one. Um, so this photo is of a firefighter going into a burning building um, and actually it was the old IU library that caught fire um, in 1969. Um, it caught fire twice in February and in May and this is from the May fire um, and I did a little research and actually found out that um, it was two arsonist attacks um, and so this push this kind of pushed IU to build the Wells Library that we have today and create like the big main library instead of having two. This photo shows students at IU protesting the South African apartheid and also um, Part of the protest was trying to get the IU administration to divest from South African companies that kind of had a hand in apartheid. And I thought this photo was really cool because um, the young people have always kind of been like uh, the energy um, behind social movements and social change. And so it's really cool to see that like Bloomington and IU's young community kind of come together and do that as well. So yeah, this is really fun. They have a lot of signs that say like segregation is disgusting and divest from oppression. And so I think that fits in well with kind of like the moment we are now with um, social movements. And then the final photo I have is from also 1985. So 1985 was kind of a big year for Bloomington. Um, Ray Charles plane crash in the Monroe County Airport. Um, and so he was unharmed and most people in the plane was unharmed besides the pilot. He sustained a back injury, but um, when I researched it a little bit, it was like it was raining really heavily in October and so it kind of slid off of the runway um, and Ray Charles said he was in the back of the plane playing chess and so he didn't really like notice anything until he felt like the big jarring and actually the plane if you can see closely if we zoom in the plane sustained a lot of um, damage and so this is just a photo of like first responders assessing the damage and getting people out um so these are just some of the photos that i found really interesting we have a lot more and so if you're interested you should check out our website at monroehistory.org